What's up internet? In this video, we're going to do an input lag test for Bluetooth 4.2 versus 5.0 with the DualSense controller. Now some of you may be wondering, haven't this input lag test already been done on the channel? And the answer is yes. And this is my fault. When I did that test, I assumed that the Xbox Series controller was Bluetooth 5.1 compatible. But it turns out recently I found out that the Xbox Series controller only support up to 4.0. But the good news is the PS5 DualSense controller does support Bluetooth 5.0. And that's why I'm redoing this test again. Without further ado, let's see what the difference is when it comes to input lag between Bluetooth 5.0 and Bluetooth 4.2. I'm going to be using a 960 frames per second high speed Sony camera to do this test. This camera is fast enough for us to calculate input lag in the milliseconds. That's 1000 milliseconds for every second. We are going to import the pre-recorded high speed footage into my video editing program. Then we will count the amount of frames it took from the moment that a button is pressed to when an action happens on screen. And finally, we will input all of this data into my handy spreadsheet to calculate frames into milliseconds. Alright, with Bluetooth 4.2, at the lowest I'm getting the mid 40s to the high 40s. And at the highest I'm getting all the way up to the 70 milliseconds. On average, I'm getting about 59 milliseconds for input delay. Now with Bluetooth 5.0, I'm getting very similar results, being the lowest in the mid 40 milliseconds, and the highest hitting about 70. And on average, I'm getting about 57 milliseconds. Now if you compare the two, the Bluetooth 5.0 is essentially the same as Bluetooth 4.2. The difference being only a couple of fractions of a second. Now these are pretty disappointing results to me personally, but if you really think about it, it kind of makes sense. Bluetooth is a general purpose protocol. So I'm not sure if input lag for gaming is their highest priority. I know that 5.0 has additional features such as supporting multiple speakers to one connection. But as you can see here when it comes to gaming, particularly when it comes to input delay, I'm not sure if they did much to improve it. And maybe perhaps this is why the Xbox Series controller doesn't support 5.0 because the input delay is essentially the same. So Microsoft probably didn't want to take on the additional cost when upgrading to the new Bluetooth 5.0 protocol will give you essentially the same performance. And this result is consistent with what I had when I did the input delay test for the PS4 versus the PS5. The DualSense controller is only marginally better than the DualShock 4. And that controller uses Bluetooth 2.1. So the newer versions of Bluetooth doesn't really improve the input delay that much. Alright, hopefully you found the video to be interesting. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now.